In the third and fourth year of medical school, the primary job of the medical students is to spend time what we call clinical clerkships and clinical electives. And that's where they really work hands-on, um, both in hospital settings as well as in ambulatory care settings, work hands-on with physicians or residents or care teams to provide medical care to those people who are in the hospital or in this ambulatory care setting. So all students have to complete a set of what we call the core clerkships, and there's seven of those they have to complete during their third year of medical school. And each one of those clerkships lasts somewhere between four and eight weeks, depending on the uh, specialty that, it, that it's in. And then during that time, they will work directly hands-on um, with a attending physician and or residents in each one of those disciplines to learn about that area of discipline. For medical students, Dr. Terry Steyer and myself also um, have been meeting regularly with community doctors and the hospital administrators. Uh, so medical student clerkship should be set up at St. Mary's as well as Athens Regional. Um, it, Northeast Georgia has four clerkships. We may be expanding that to seven clerkships. Uh, and then a lot of those specialties, again, would be available then in the graduate medical education as we move forward in the next uh, six months. We hope to be moving ahead with GME development here in Athens and Northeast Georgia. The goal is to have all 40 students be able to complete all their clinical clerkships within the Northeast Georgia area. We've also had talks with um, Gwinnett County Hospital, maybe using Gwinnett Hospital System, Barrow Hospital, Elberton um, in Elbert County to do a rural family medicine rotation. And then we hope to also talk with uh, Atlanta Medical Center and the Children's Hospital there, as well as the Scottish Rite Pediatric Medical Centers in Atlanta to maybe develop pediatric rotations at those sites as well. Athens is the only four-year campus of the Medical College of Georgia. Um, there, are th there are currently two and soon to be three what we call clinical campuses of MCG that just take third and fourth year students. And those are in regions of the state. So Southwest and Albany is up and up running. Um, Southeast and Savannah Brunswick will be up and running this July. And then they just announced a new clinical campus in Rome, Georgia, that should be up and running by 2012 or 2013, depending upon things. So what our students will have the opportunity, if they so choose, to go to one of those regional campuses if they want to. But they'll have first right to refuse to stay in Athens. We think we can attract uh, excellent medical students to Athens. In fact, I've had four students from North Carolina and South Carolina already email me uh, asking for when we're going to have rotations uh, for graduate medical education in Athens because they went to UGA and they want to come back to Athens. I, I love Athens. Uh, I went to school at the University of Georgia and I really love the town. I'm living uh, just right down the street uh, in family and graduate housing. I feel like, uh, well, I feel, I think the school is in the works of trying to get more uh, spots here for us to do rotations and eventually residency if needed. Um, but I do think that some students may actually prefer to go out of town. I know for myself, I would like to see other cities, I see how they would practice in other hospitals in other cities. I think it would be a challenge if I would to go to another city and find a new apartment because uh, um, there are not many apartments that are obviously handicap accessible. What we're going to do here is I'll work primarily one-on-one -on -one with the physicians for most of their time, four, four and a half days a week. And then for half a day a week, they'll come back to the home base here at the medical partnership and they'll have what we call academic half days, where there'll be set things that they're required to learn through the curriculum that um, we want to make sure they've been exposed to that they may or may not get while they're on their rotations working one-on-one, -on -one, that we'll make sure the core curriculum here contains that. That's going to be a unique feature of the Northeast Georgia Medical Partnership Campus. So five, ten years from now, uh, I hope we have seven or eight outstanding residency programs filled with excellent medical students and want to stay here and practice in Georgia. I think the ultimate goal is create our own pipeline of docs uh, that we can have in Northeast Georgia and in the state of Georgia taking care of Georgians and improving the community health here.